Hey, listen. You see all you look, you, you brands here. Man is onto you, look. Trust me. You don't think we're f stupid. After one month. You get me. But anyway, the other day I'm having a conversation with with another artist. Because you know me, I'm a hard worker, so I do a lot of features. You get me? With a lot of artists, young artists, old school, whatever. Yeah. So this little kid. <clears throat> he's come to me and he said yeah so we're going to shoot this video i've got this brand involved i'm not going to call any names yeah got this brand involved this alcohol and they're going to like put bread towards the video and that so i said oh if you don't mind me asking how much they're going to put in he said five bags five i said five bags for for you and hollow man gigs Like, are you mad? Five bags, like, this huge cultural influence bringing all this cultural currency and you're trying to give this little you who don't know nothing about nothing five bags to shoot a f Are you f stupid? Like, what a f insult. Yeah. And then, the day after, I just happened to be shooting, I'm going to say, the next man's, let me, I was just shooting that Rimsy video. Then I see the same brand in the video. And I was thinking, but cause my man was shooting this video, I was thinking, you lot got away with this one this After day. Yeah. Yards to... You know who you are, who, who I'm talking about. I thought, how much do you lot give Rimsy? Cause you just offered this other little kid five bags. You lot are lucky you got me in that fucking video standing a few centimeters away from your shit. You get me? So, cause you know where it is, yeah? These all fresh young niggas off the streets. You know them ones that, you know what I'm saying? Man don't really realize how much our culture is worth. You know what I'm saying? Like, so man would just think, raw, like, oh yeah, five bags sold a bowl. Boy, that's lit, like, and all that. Nah, our culture is heavy. Man's making these these brands go through the roof. You get me? You need to be telling these brothers oh, come what? correct or don't come at all. And then and, and then you're trying to get big bad rascal hollow man gigs. The, the, the one of the godfathers of the rascal thing for this little full change. But nah, man's on to you lot anyway, man. Trust me, like. Because you know where it is, bury these videos, because it's like hood nigga. Like, I won't really check like that. I'll just turn up. Yeah, man, hey, you want to shoot this video? Yeah, all right, cool, man. Mom will show love. I'll come down. I won't even be doing no background checks or nothing, like whatever. But now, man's going to be checking. You get me? Oh, what? You got this brand? Oh, how much they giving you? If it's not a certain amount of thing, you can't even get pigs in your shit, fam. I don't even give a f you don't think you're smart trying to rob these little n take the piss out and take advantage out of them because they don't know because they're fresh in the game and that you get me so you lot better fucking watch it mate because me and buck is going through it with a fine tooth comb about fat what f this is an insult you lot are done now man don't come to our culture with no idiot bread man seriously bring some proper bread man you little f criminals make me sick I don't give a fuck, Keisha. Welcome back to another lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing video. Equally lovely, equally beautiful, equally sexy, and equally amazing lit tire. You know what time it is? Now let's go. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now guys, it looks like your boy Giggs was not happy about the payment he was receiving for a recent video shoot. And we're gonna break this down in way more detail. But you already know what you gotta do. You just gotta like, comment, subscribe to be up to date if I'm drop a banger like this one and hit that no e because you ain't in it. So you can be the first to know when one of these videos comes out. And without further ado, Let's get straight into it. Well, firstly, I'd like to apologize for the excessive amount of swearing from Hollow Man Gigs. I think he used the F word at least 95 times. As this is a family channel, we don't promote that tomfoolery over here. Yeah, that's true. 
But if you didn't already know, Giggs posted a video to his Instagram yesterday where he apparently wasn't happy about the way brands were treating the UK rap culture. As you can see in the video, Giggs talks about how he was chatting to a younger rap artist who wanted to get Giggs on a song and to come out and shoot the video with him in his hood. Giggs agreed to this because he wanted to show love to the young G's and bridge the gap between the older and newer generation, all that good stuff. And then the rap artist told Giggs about a brand that was sponsoring the video and mentioned how they were paying him 5k to shoot the video oh my god my god he choked gigs of course responded to this very unfavorably as he had this to say five bags for you and hollow man gigs are you mad five bags that like, this huge cultural influence bringing all this cultural currency and you're trying to give this little you who don't know nothing about nothing five bags to shoot a f are you f stupid now what a f insult. Which in layman's terms means you got me fucked up. You can suck my left nut. He also said in the video that he wasn't gonna mention the name of the brand he was referring to, but then less than 20 seconds later, slipped up and mentioned that same brand was there in the video that he shot with him and Rimsey. If you check that video out, you'll see that the brand that tried to rip gigs off is of course Cheval Regal, which is a UK Scotch brand. I checked their Instagram comment section and it's just full of people clowning them about this whole five bag situation. Now, if I'm keeping it eight more than 92 with you, gigs is right, five bags for a video shoot is quite poor. And that's bad. But then five bags for a video shoot with gigs involved is damn right disrespectful. KMC to disrespect. I gotta put some respect on Giggs' name, you know. He's out here. He's collabed with Drake. He's collabed with Young Thug. Like, he's not one of these regular, degular UK rappers. He's a legend. And at first, I thought that this might be a, a new company, so they might not have the funds like that. So they, they might have been, you know, this might have been the highest that they could give the artist at the time. I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt, but then I did some research and found out that the company has been in operation since 1801. So you're telling me that your company's been in operation for 200 years and you wanted to give £2,000 for the video. Absolutely violating. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. However, I do have to play devil's advocate and look at it from the brand's perspective. We don't actually know if the young G who Giggs was referring to told the brand that Giggs was coming and that Giggs was going to be in the video. Maybe if they knew that, they might have come slightly more correct with their pricing and, you know, put, put a couple extra zeros on that five bags. Hey, well, probably only one zero because Giggs ain't worth 500k. I'm sorry, he's not. He's not. I don't think anyone in the UK can really come on that just for one video. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. We don't We don't even know who this young G is. He could literally be one of these low-key underground artists who doesn't even have a hit to his name. He could just be one of them guys that's only popping on his estate and he's just got a little bit of buzz. And in that case, I can't lie, five bags is is kind of accurate for what you'd be owed some might even say it's an overestimation of your value i mean at that point you haven't really shown that you're worth them investing anything into you or investing any more into you at that current moment in time because let's let's say they did give you the five bags and you drop the video and the video gets like you know 50k views in like a year it doesn't really blow up like the way that people anticipate it too then you might not even make them back their money and if you are one of these low-key up-and-coming artists is the brand really gonna gain that much sales from you putting it in the music video i think not guess if, if i guess if the video got like 30 mil views then yeah they probably make some sales from it being in there but if you just got like a measly 200k i don't think you're doing doing much to, to help the brand, I can't lie. Giggs then went on to mention that these brands need to come correct when they're trying the UK rap scene. Even coined a new term called cultural currency, which I'm sure is going to be all over Twitter by the end of tomorrow. But yeah, he said the UK rap scene is out here making these brands bank and they don't even realize how much the UK rap scene is worth. And whilst I do think that's true, I think it's only true to a certain extent. I think in order for these brand deals to actually work, people need to be so in love with the artist and what he has going on that they're willing to mess with any and everything else that he or she does. They need to be so in love with M2 Trappy's music, pause. And they see M2 Trappy drinking that alcohol and they go to Tesco, they see that same alcohol and they say, yeah, 
I saw M2 Trappy drinking that in the hometown hero video. And yeah, let me go buy that. Oh, they need to love Skeng Daddy's music so much. Pause. I will go and rock the Jordans that he's rocking in the like, Ops or Puppets video. That's really how these brand deals are supposed to work. And when you break it down and put it into that perspective, there's not a lot of artists in the UK that have that much power. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. I think in terms of clothing and clothing deals, then I can make the argument that there's more UK artists that are likely to pull off deals with clothing brands because the uk rap scene is is synonymous with drip it's all about drip that's all they talk about in all their tunes their latest clothes their style and there's quite a few swaggy individuals in the uk rap scene i'm not gonna lie i think if it's a clothing deal or a shoe deal they'd probably be able to pull it off i can see people seeing someone rocking nice clothes and thinking yeah i'm gonna go buy that because i saw I saw Dave wearing that. I saw Dave collab with them and it looks good or, or whatever. But anything else outside of those two things, I think all bets are off, not gonna lie. If Cave Trap brought out a line of chocolate bars, I don't think I'm buying it still. <laughs> or I'm at least waiting for other people to buy it and say if it's nice or not. If Jay Huss brought out perfume, I can't lie, I'm not buying it still. I'm sorry, I'm just not. Is he just not? He don't have that brand. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. Especially if he calls it like ugly perch scent or something like that. Like I, I, I like because that's just terrible marketing. Like you, he just wants to wear the ugly scent, not me. But I think that Giggs is one of those artists that could pull off an alcohol brand deal or or, or deal outside of clothing and shoes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'd I say so, kind of. I guess I'd say if anyone could do it it would be someone of his stature. And if he was to do a deal, it would definitely be more than five bags, I can tell you that much. Backbone! In the words of Heady One. It's a bit of a sticky one still. Let me know if you about this in the comment section down below. What do you think about this gigs being underpaid for a video shoot scandal? Do you think five bags was enough? Do you think he needs way more than five bags? What, what price would you give gigs to be in a video shoot? What would the price be? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. But on the road to 2,000 subs, you already know what time it is. You can follow my personal IG at the only lit TNT. If you care about what I do, I'm not making these bangers for you. I post updates on Twitter as well, so you might as well follow me on there. Because what else are you doing with your life? Absolutely nothing, mate. Stay black. And if you're not black, stay whatever race you are. I bet. Peace. Oh, you ain't know I can sing.